reasons why you are single and miserable. You are doing single all wrong. Number one, you should be dating multiple men. You need to be dating two to three men baseline, okay? Let me tell you why. POV, you were in a relationship with a guy for three years. It didn't work out. It took you two years to get over that relationship. When you hit the streets now, baby, you're five years in a deficit, okay? You don't even know what you like. You don't even know what's outside. You need to know what you like. Day young, day old, day tall, day short. Try your hand at it, baby. You need to go outside. You need to date to learn what you like. The second reason why you need to date multiple men is because it takes the emotional offload off of one particular person, baby. You out here stuck on Kevin. Kevin is a four. He's doing a whole bunch of nothing. Boom. But you stuck. B women's biggest downfall is not being able to control their emotions. If you're having a problem controlling your emotions, rejoice. Myers living beyond your feelings is basically how to control your emotions so your emotions don't control you. Additionally, you're dating in a deficit, you're dating in deprivation, and you're dating in depression. Okay, y'all? Oh my God, I'm so tired of the apps. I oh, ain't no quality man out here. Da, da, da. That's exactly what you're going to attract, baby. When I step out the house, I feel like I smell good, I look good. Okay, and my mentality is that there are abundance of quality people, quality men outside. Okay, and look, hotline blinging. Okay, that is how you have to step outside. So enjoy yourself. Have a good time. Enjoy the summer. Be outside and enjoy your life. And that is exactly what you will attract. Okay, love you. Bye. This whole video was based off of her telling women to enjoy their life because life is just short. Um, I'm going to add on to this, too. Just because someone dates around does not mean that they sleeping around with all of them. But here's the, the kicker. A lot of them are. There's no way how someone who values their body that has a lot of class about themselves is going to say, when I hit the streets. She basically then gave the whole hot girl summer menu uh, 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 proposal, suggestion. She gave the whole hot girl um, manual to the ladies and said, look, man, life is short and do you uh, figure things out, taste the waters, see what you like, see what you don't like and get it in and do you. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's just kind of comes off like desperation a little bit. Um, it, it, it makes it seem as though you don't know how to sit your ass down somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just said it. It's just make, it's, it gives off the vibe that you don't know how to sit your ass down somewhere. You don't know how to pour into you and... Um, this is how a lot of people run and get, get into a lot of trouble. This is how a lot of STDs float, float around. This is how um, you bump heads with a lot of folks because you ain't going to like everybody. So while you out here uh, moving around, going from person to person, it becomes dangerous, man. These are different times. Stepping outside all the time, always in somebody's face, that ain't attractive. Every time you step outside, every time I see you outside, every time I come in the kitchen, you in the kitchen, in the goddamn refrigerator, eating all the food. Every time I see you outside, Susan, you in all these niggas' faces. All that Taco Bell, all that Ruby Tuesdays, all that Ruth's Chris, all that Red Lobster, all that Hillstone, all in the cigar bars. All, all the lounges. Hey, yo. It's nothing wrong with getting your feet wet out here every now and then, though, man. But you got to preserve your energy. That's just what I feel. I feel like you need to preserve your energy, focus on you, and you'll know when to walk outside. But all that managing people at once. So I ain't never, I, look, you know, I might have had some fun, but I wasn't dating. You feel me? I understand bouncing around. You just want to straight out get it in and be a playboy or a playgirl. Just say that. But if you dating, I ain't dating no, uh, no, I ain't dating no three, four, five at once. I'm not doing that. For what? One, that's draining. That's draining, man. We ain't playing musical chairs with, you know, I, I, I've never done it. I, I, you know, to each his own, though. If you like it, I don't love it. 
But every pro everybody program, what I'm about to say, y'all, everybody program is their program. People do what's best for them. And uh, I can for sure tell you, if I if I saw a woman like this, and I could just look in her eyes, bro, she gets dirty. She gets down, is what I'm trying to say. She ain't innocent, bro. A lot of us aren't innocent. Hell, I ain't even innocent, but she gets it in, is what I'm trying to say. She gives me vibe, those eyes give me vibe that can't really be trusted. Um, the eyes give me vibes of, you, you know too goddamn much. You all in the mix of things. Don't nobody like that. Real men of mean do not like women as all them people face. Because guess what? I can for sure tell you, man. Um, it's going to take a lot for a man to really make her sit down, especially if they're in a relationship. Oh, he's going to have to have something to make her sit down. And even then, she's going to probably fight against that urge. Hell, men have these problems too. You know, dudes that are always outside, always outside, and you get in a relationship, and you're not used to being that type of person. Uh, you're not used to being, you know, in one little place all the time with one person all the time. A lot of folks can't do that. But there are people, that, there are very outgoing people that go out all the time and they just can't do that, bro. Um, and that's them. That's their life. But hey, man, to each his own. You like it, I don't love it. I said what I said. I was a little all over the place with it. But to me, I don't find that as attractive. And to be honest, I don't want nobody who been all in people's face like that. That's the no, That's like a top red flag. Because that could lead to so many other different problems. You can tell a lot about somebody's personality and character based off of just moving like that all the time. But if you got somebody who just chilled in the cut, minding their own business, you know, ain't all in the mix like that. Like, she seemed like she was the type back in the day that she would be in the middle of the club. Like, I like them ones that like to sit over there by the bar near the exit, kind of in their own little bubble. That's me. I like I like the women that way too. I don't want the woman that's all in the mix talking to everybody. She, yeah, yeah. Kind of dusty, ain't it? But y'all tell me, man. I ain't judging her. But I smell something.